know, sometimes to just get comfortable with the speed of the game, the size of, of the opponent uh, takes some time. And I thought, you know, our guys, once they settled in, started to compete and, and, and work hard and do the things that we thought we were able to do. Um, the message was it's four quarters, four quarter football game. And uh, this program uh, is going to be known for uh, working hard to the end. And uh, I was proud of the kids, proud of the players. Were any changes made in terms of what you were doing defensively? That because it seemed like Ashland really struggled to move the ball in the second half. Yeah, no question. We tried to give them some looks that we didn't show them in the first half, and uh, you know, try to uh, change some angle points for them and make them adjust and change a little bit. During the course of the game, you started off with a really good passing game. Then you added a good running attack, and then your defense stepped up. It seemed like it was a good overall team effort today. Yeah, I, I thought from an offensive perspective, it was it was probably a special day. I, um, it's as good a defense as there is in this league, and uh, we were balanced, and I thought we had a lot of guys contribute, and I thought we had a young offensive line that competed, and uh, I thought our quarterback played well, and uh, I don't believe he, he had any turnovers on the day, and I thought we made enough plays to win. Do, as, a, as a coach, do you believe in normal moral victories? or No. No. Absolutely not. No. At the end of the year, it's going to be a loss, you know, so if, if, you, if you lose by 70 or you lose by a point, um, there's not going to be a little asterisk by it. So, no, I, I don't. But um, at the same time, uh, I do understand how far we've come as a program. Uh, the strides we've made have been extraordinary in three years, and uh, we're, we're just taking the long path. We need the football gods a little bit to maybe throw some dust on us, but we'll keep working at it. I'm sure the team, um, you know, it's a, a difficult way for the game to end after playing so well in the second half. What was the mentality of the team when you got everybody together in the locker room? Um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, they're kids and they're entrenched in, in, in playing for this university. And, uh, they're good boys and they believe in us. And, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, I don't know yet. You know, I know that, that we're together and I know that we're not going to put blame because it's not what we do and they won't do that. But um, they'll be fine. They're resilient. They're hardworking, and we'll get back at it tomorrow. We've talked before about how, how disappointment can be a good motivating tool for you. Is, is that something you think you could tap into again? You know, I, I think um, I think it's about being steady. I think you've got to have a steady message and a, a consistent approach. And uh, sometimes I think there's a little bit too much put on um, you know the rah rah end of things. And, and, you're going to use and all that nonsense. I think the kids have to rely on on, on uh, consistency, on uh, approach, and I think our players clearly have a wildcat way of doing things, and we'll get right back at it uh, and follow that that little bit. Yeah. Um, I kind of asked Coach about this already, but uh, you know, when everybody got together in the locker room, what was the message? What were you saying to each other, trying to compartmentalize how that game played out? To either of you, uh, stay together. Definitely, we um, we knew they were a good team, uh, top team in the country, and we know uh, unity is uh, adversity. So we just stay together, play our game, and do what we could. Playing against a good team like that, coming back from a big deficit, even though the outcome wasn't what you wanted, is that a good motivation for going in the next contest? Oh yeah, it's a uh, great motivation. Show we can stick around with the top ten team in the country, even though uh, it didn't go out as we planned. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to. It's little things we should have did differently that we could have won. You know what I mean? Catching balls, kicking field goals, but at the same time we did a good game. Yeah, I think it shows a lot about our heart. Um, this team has a lot of heart. We fight to the end. Uh, we never really count ourselves out of a game, and um, you know we look to both sides of the ball to really keep us in the game and make plays and. We know if the defense gets hot, the offense is going to get rolling. If the offense gets rolling, the defense is going to get hot. So we really feed off each other's energy. And um, like I said, we just never kind of count ourselves out of the game. And we're, we give, we like to give ourselves a chance because we know a lot of people in this country don't. So that's one thing we take pride in. The end result wasn't what you were looking for, but as you're coming back and the crowd gets into it, it's a pretty good atmosphere, as good as it's been at home all year. How much fun was that to play in? It's great fun. It's always fun to play with my boys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get the crowd going. You know what I'm saying? And being into the game like that, what a top team. So it's, it's great, great feeling. Yeah, we really feed off the crowd energy. So when the dome gets rocking, it really gets us pumped up and ready to go. And 
gets us psyched up and you know, when we're having down periods and we make a big play and they get rolling, we really feed off that energy. On offense, you were able to fall, fall, <laughs> find some holes in the passing game and just, how, what was the key there? Just uh, Give my team an opportunity, definitely. Uh, Got to make big plays, big players make big plays, you know what I'm saying? So just try to give my team an opportunity to win. Yeah. You're going to have one more chance to play uh, a top-ranked team when, when Ferris comes here, and, and the fact that you're able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with Ashland, I mean, does that give you some, some confidence that you can do it again and maybe finish the deal? Yeah, we really take a lot of confidence. Um, we know that despite our record, we are one of the best teams in this league. And, um, we're right there every single game that we've lost. Uh, we lost to Tech by one. We lost to Ashland by one. We really... We really think that uh, we got a good chance going into Ferris. Uh, we hung with them great last year, and I think if we take some momentum in, into that game, um, I think we can really give them a run for their money. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like cornerback, you know, we, uh, we take nobody uh, easy. We uh, we know Ferris is a good team, but we're not scared of them. We come in and practice like we do every week. We're gonna go hard. Looking for a, a road win. It's not something that the program has done a whole lot recently. When you when you go on the road next week, uh, you know what what's the difference playing at home versus on the road? Um, I think the big thing is probably the elements. Um, we don't really practice outside a lot, um, especially when home on home weeks we're practicing in the dome. And then other other than that, I think it's the atmosphere. And we just gotta we gotta come and play our game. And that's one thing that we've struggled to do early in games on the road. And then kind of picked it up in the second half on the road, but we got to come and play four quarters on the road, and I think that's going to be the key to win.